Dante Tank Davis. Let Shakur Stevenson. Devin Haney, no. Y'all ain't built like that, bro. Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson continues to make promises that I don't believe he's gonna be able to deliver on. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the Sangin' OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Join the channel as a member. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams, the videos that we do. And hit me up if you want to debate. Knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Let's get it cracking, bro. Um, Shakur Stevenson was on Twitter yesterday talking that big boy shit. And I keep telling Shakur fans this. I've been saying this about Shakur Stevenson, bro. Stop all the talking. We're done with you talking, bro. He said he is going to dismantle um, William Zapata coming off of a seven-month layoff. Now that I've got my hands fixed. You about to see the best version of me that you've ever seen. Just continues to blah, 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 blah. Bro, we have heard this shit before, fam. And this is no disrespect. I really want the young man to understand, dog. You said, you talk like this before every fight. You stay putting yourself in position to, oh, you over promise shit. And then when you under deliver, you get mad at people. For reminding you what you said leading up to the fucking fight, bro. Which is why you should just shut the fuck up. You're not the type of fighter that's dismantling shit. Dismantle. Taking shit apart. Making it to where it's unrecognizable. Taking something that looked like a fucking engine and you dismantle that shit. And now it just looked like a bunch of metal laid across the goddamn... That means you beating people ass. That means you beating people ass, bro. You're not that type of fighter. You are a boxer, defensive fighter. You are the I don't drop rounds, I win rounds, guys don't hit me. You're not the dismantler, specifically somebody like William fucking Zapata, bro. If he do it, he do it. But he's setting himself up again. I'm going to dismantle him. I'm going to show I'm the best version of myself because of these hand surgeries. Now, what if the fight is fucking competitive? What if you feel William Zapata's fight, uh, power and you got to fight William Zapata how you fought Nakathila? Or you got to fight William Zapata how you fought Edwin De La Santo in order to win because he's that dangerous in the ring that night? What if that shit happened? Then you're going to be like, hey, man. Hey, man. I won the fight. Fuck all my haters. If you got anything to say, all it's about is winning. It needs to only stop. If it's all about winning, it should only be all about winning all the time. Meaning, I'm going to get the job done. If that's your motto, I'm just going to get the job done, bro. I'm going to win by any means necessary. You keep He keeps promising this version of himself that never fucking shows up, bro. This version that he keeps promising us that is going to show up, it never shows up. He promised us this version against Artem. I'm going to knock Artem out. I'm going to beat his ass. I'm going to do this to him. I'm going to do that to him. And then shows up, can't cut the ring off. His grandfather's telling him, you got to let your hands go over and over again. He doesn't do that. And now he has a... a uh, and a performance that's not subpar, but a performance is not the that's not the performance that he promised going into the fight. Did the same shit with Edwin De La Santos. Same shit, bro. I'm gonna beat his ass. I'm gonna do this to him. I'm gonna do that to him. Talking all that big boy shit leading up to the Edwin fight. Then after he puts on a stinker of a performance, my hands was hurt. My shoulder was hurt. Let me expose these text messages showing my showing that I was texting my baby mama and that I was actually sick and and all this like bro he he 
He always does this. And his fans, you guys eat this shit up. You eat it up, bro. You eat it up. No matter how many times he overpromises and underdelivers, you eat it up again and again and again and again. He is talking about dismantling somebody. He is talking about he's gonna be the best version of himself now that his hands is is is, is gonna be okay, bro. You about to fight the toughest fight you've ever fought in your career. You about to type top fight the toughest fight that you ever fight in your career. And you know that when the going get rough, you get defensive. You know that when the going get rough, you get on your bicycle. So why would you put this, why would you put this out there, bro? Now I'm sure Shakur Stevenson fans, y'all might love this shit. Y'all might think he can do it. Y'all might think that he going he gonna to do this shit. And then what, what y'all will do is y'all will get mad when I call back to what he said before the fight. But no, he put this pressure on himself. He set this expectation. All right, cool. So that's the expectation. If he don't dismantle William Zapata, if he don't show the absolute best version of himself coming off of surgery, then I'm going to have something to say about it. Because he said this stupid ass shit. Very rare. Adrian Peterson is the only motherfucker I ever seen have a, a surgery and then the very next time you see him, he's the best that you ever seen him look. Most times it takes you a couple of fights or a couple of seasons to get your full, full shit back. Shakur Stevenson don't know his hand could be sore. He cannot trust it as much. Anything could happen. So for me, bro, I didn't like to see this shit. I think he's setting himself up for failure. And as I said, bro, we're tired of hearing you promise us that you're going to do this and promise us that you're going to do that. Just go in there and be you, bro. Go in there and be you. You ain't dismantling nothing, and you don't know if you're going to be the best version of yourself, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like, sub up. I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Javante Tank Davis. Let Shakur Stevenson. Devin Haney, no. I ain't built like that, bro.